eBay wall for today. I got all these at a yard sale last week. I need to sell all these towels. I sold three so far, which isn't that much. Or I meant six. Um, but I just need to post them all. I'm gonna post a few. I got this box on at a yard sale today for these terminal connectors for electronical panels. Um, got tons of them. The boxes are wet, but these are waterproof. I mean, there's no electronics; it's just metal, just terminals. So they they are you can they can be underwater perfectly fine. And what else? You got these power supplies at all the same yard sale. Not the games, but this power supply right here sells for about 300 brand new and 180 used. So I'm, it's brand new. So I'm probably gonna post it for 180 just to get a quick buck. These sell for anywhere from 50 to 100 bucks. Paid 150 for all of this, which might be kind of a lot. But I also got this fan, and I did get about like 10 games, PS2 games. Um, I'm not sure how much they're worth, but one of them was worth 20 bucks, which isn't that big of a deal. But basically, this is where I had to post on eBay. These might be a little harder to sell. But I do have oh, probably over a thousand of them. I haven't counted and I don't really feel like counting it to a thousand right now. But they're all different brands. Let's yeah, this is AB brand. And you just put that code in and it should tell you exactly what it is. Um, on the side there. This is a more popular brand, Phoenix Contact. Uh, I used to build panels for two weeks and I hated it. So I, I used these many times so I know exactly how they work. Um, this is a good brand too. Supposedly these are brand new. They look brand new, never used, but who knows? I probably will sell them um, new, but not 100% sure because I don't want to rip anyone off. Got this thing. Haven't looked this up yet. And then these this is probably completely useless. I'm probably just going to throw this away. But these do go in something like a panel, but... Um, these are super cheap like they come with strips and we should always throw them out like if this was like three of them we just threw it away so this is probably garbage um it's, or it's worth like three cents but it's not worth selling it this i don't know if it's even worth selling it i'm gonna have to look this christmas tree thing up but yeah this is just a piece of plastic a hinge i don't know what i'm gonna do with that but yeah tons of different and then these are the cases for the back of them. So when you put them together like this, sometimes the panel has three though, you put a casing on the back. On which side? You put a case on this side so it won't touch. Or no, look right here. You put a casing right here so it won't touch the metal on any other components or whatever the panel needs. So these are good for now. And they got other terminals up here. I don't know what these are. I haven't looked these up yet. There's a oh, branding on the side. Some black ones just more in here so yeah we just got tons and tons of these um, so even if i can't sell these i sell this for 180 and maybe one of these and get my money worth so this is all the profit i'm making so this is just the initial investment and and i'm probably making some money off these i'm not sure these are really old they're from the 2000s but they use the same technology as now um this one's from 2011 so it's not that oldest thing ever yeah, we're gonna see what we can do. I might post a video of see how much I sold them for. I'll let you guys know, but these might take months and months to sell. But I mean, honestly, no rush. I just want, I'm in a rush just to sell this one to get my initial investment back, and then I'm good from there. Uh, but yeah, some websites sell these for 300 brand new. Let's see, Trio Power. This one's probably worth 100 bucks. Each one's 50, but they're all different sizes, whatever someone needs. Most companies don't use eBay. I mean, some do, but some just buy it for, direct from the company, which is super expensive. But Phoenix Contact is a good brand. I have heard of this brand before. So I'm happy I got some name brand. I never heard of this brand, but I'm also not a panel expert at that. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this yard sale. 150 for all of this. And the fan, you can't forget the fan. This is actually pretty good. It's an outdoor fan, but I need it. It's, it's really nice. This, I don't know how much this is worth, but I'm happy with it. I, mean, I can't complain. I don't know. Yeah, it's not the perfect fan, but hey, it works. And I'm cool right now. So yeah, this is my eBay show for right now. These games, what I'm going to do is I'm going to post 
every single one that's um, above $15 individually. Any game that's under $15, I'm gonna have to sell in a bulk of games because I just don't want to deal with anything that's ten dollars. Ten dollars and the shipping's four dollars plus fees. You only get like four dollars. I'd rather just bundle it up as a bulk. Um, this is not worth going out of your way for four dollars. Um, so yeah. But the most expensive game I have here is gonna be a Dragon Ball game. It's gonna be Blitz. This is like a sixty dollar game, and then th this game right here. This is like a seventy or eighty dollar game. I already sold one of them. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Some of these are completely worthless games. Like literally like not even worth five bucks. And if you sell something for five dollars, shipping's four bucks, you get 50 cents. This is not even worth your time. And if, if someone's broken about it, you just lose the shipping money. So I'm just gonna sell a big bulk of these, the worthless ones. But believe it or not, some stupid like Head Coach 09 is somehow worth like 20 bucks or 15 bucks, that's weird. Some of these games make no sense, like Madagascar. That is freaking worth like uh, 20 bucks. I have no idea who's buying that. And they sell. So yeah, that's pretty much it. eBay shelf.